Welcome back to S Wiggins TV, everybody. As always, I'm your host, Worldwide Wiggins. And I'm back with another episode of Forgotten Hood to LA, Season 5, Episode 2. Now, got a few things to say. I know I ain't post nothing in two days. Had a lot of personal things going on, you know. Well, we getting right back into it, man. And, you know, hopefully this don't happen again, man. Well, I thank you all for staying down with me. We gonna keep it pushing, man. And number two, when I say forgotten hoods, you know, this is a disclaimer. I don't mean that your hood is just knocked off the map and it's nobody cares about it. It's washed up and y'all boo-boo. It's just that your hood is not mentioned with the big... You know, everybody, basically, if you ain't from 60s or 8 Trey or one of the big Inglewood families, you, to the outside world, people trying to say you a nobody. I'm here to debunk that. We putting all the small hoods on the map. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, oh, by the way, I am Worldwide Wiggins, right? We gonna do something a little different. We going to St. Louis with it. Here we go. Yeah, okay. You know, we going out of state with it. We Today, we gonna be talking about the 5'9", bad West Side, St. Louis, Rolling 60s. Shouts out to my boy, One Don Loke. Y'all go check out his YouTube, at Resurrect, the number nine, I-N-E. Basically, we gonna be talking about the Rolling 60s. They got ops such as the SHD, but Nowadays, they EBK, you know, they beef with everybody in their city pretty much. And get this, they beef with East Coast Crips, you feel me, since way back in the 90s, you feel me, like the Six Deuce East Coast, other enemies include the Six Four Wellston Bloods, Five Five Dipset Bloods, not the Five Five Crip, the Five Five Dipset Bloods, the Five Eight S Tail Mob, the Five Seven K Mob, the 5-7 Maffet Bloods or Moffitt Bloods, however you want to say it. But yeah, this hood is notorious. I've done the homework. This is a real crazy hood out there. And if you've done your history, you know St. Louis was a murder capital back in the day. You feel me? So we got to put some respect on their name, man. I just wanted to do something different. And yeah, you know, a lot of LA 60s would be shocked to find out that these 60s beef with East Coast because in LA, the 60s and the East Coast share a tight alliance. They both under neighborhood. Most of the most of the East Coast Crips is neighborhood. So, except for like 11-8 East Coast Black Crips and 190 East Coast Black Crips and uh, I can't think of the others, but most of them is neighborhood. But in St. Louis, they beefing. It must be some family you feel me, a, fairy, a family orientated kind of beef. And they wear yellow, these 60s wear yellow. Shouts out to the 5'9", you know, you feel me, bad crimps, you feel me? Y'all is crazy, man. Y'all need to, you know, squash that East Coast beef, man. Come on, man, y'all need to cut that out, man. It's all love, man, you feel me? They got all kind of hoods like 5900 Wabata, 59 TMG. 59 Terrace, 59 Bad Block, Bad at a Mob or Bad a Mob, The Cowboys, 5900 Cote Brilliante, 5900 Bad Block, 900 The Mob, OT9, 59 Lotus, 59 Highland. I might come out there, cuz. Don't make me come out there. I'm Worldwide Wiggins, nigga. You don't know me. Yeah, but shouts out to y'all, man. But next. Starting off in LA now, the Hoover Park Family Bloods. A lot of the older homies from Rolling 20s neighborhood bloods was from Hoover Park Family first. You know, before the 60s, and I ain't talking about 
the roll is 60, so this must have been like before 1969 when the Crippin came out. So the 20s is a combination of a few hoods that came together, and Hoover Park family is one of them. So basically, the little brothers and the cousins and the nephews of Hoover Park families are the creators of the Rolling 20 neighborhood bloods. And here's an interesting fact. In the earlier days, Hoover Park families were more of the enemy to Rolling 30 Crips than anyone else. You feel me? Well, if they was Harlem Godfathers at the time, who knows? But they was more of an enemy to them than anyone else. The Rolling 20s didn't come till later. A lot of places where the 20s hang out now wasn't even there at that time. Bourne Miller Park wasn't there, and that's the main hangout. And they didn't even have a park yet. The Hoover Park families was already there. Shouts out to my boy Joker. He told me, like, when he grew up, he uh, knew of an OG named Strawberry. He was light-skinned with freckles, but he was with the business for sure. He from Rolling Twitties, but he's an original Hoover Park family member. Now, previously, the Harpies 13, which is a reputable wild Hispanic hood, that shares territory with the Roller 20s. They used to claim claim Hoover Park as their territory, but the 20s and the Harpies ended up clearing that beef. where the schoolyard Crips is at now used to belong to a blood gang in that area called the Mid Wilshire Bloods. I already did a, a, a episode on them like back in season three or two or something like that. A lot of people don't know that the Mid Wilshire Bloods used to have a beef with the Rolling 20 Bloods as they was enemies when they first was coming out. It wasn't unusual to see MWB hit up on the walls around areas like the top of the city stone hoods or World on Wheels and Mid City area, the Avenue 20s and Schoolyard area, like back in the early 90s, like 1993, 1994. Believe it or not, at one point, the Mid City area used to be a stronghold for the Bloods before the Crips took over. And at that time, the Crips in the area, most of them used to congregate at Queen Anne Park, which is now home to the Schoolyard Crips. Now, I got a question for y'all, for all my historians, LA, Bloods and Crips, you feel me, all the OGs out there. Does the Hoover Park family and the Inglewood family and the Swan neighborhood family and the Sentinella Park family, Bloods share an alliance? Like, it's a lot of family going on. I want to know, is it, did it come, did one come from the other? Y'all, y'all school me. I'm very interested in learning some things, man. You know, I don't know everything, bro. I sure don't. You feel me? I'm here to learn as much as y'all is. You feel me? Drop a comment. Let me know something. Next. You from LA, you know West Boulevard Crips is out there in the West Adams kind of area, like High Park area, in the 20s, like on uh, 29th Street, 30th Street, 28th Street. But did you know they got another chapter or another hood or a second hood in the 60s area? A lot of people consider it the roll of 60s area, even though that area do belong to the 60s. But the West Boulevard got a set on 64th. When you go south for Crenshaw, it's a mural right there. Basically, where Crenshaw High is at, across the street, that's supposed to be their hood right there. I had to do this hood because people say they don't consider that. Most people say that's the Rolling 60s only, you know, but this is s Wiggins TV. I root for the underdogs. I root for the small hoods all day. And what's up with West Boulevard? They got a good history and they reputable too. 
They a solid hood, but you never hear about them as much. Is they blackballed or something? I hear a lot about different smaller hoods in the area, but you rarely hear about West Boulevard. But that's why I'm here, man, to shine a light on the hoods that don't get enough credit. But ninjas know what it is to live in the area. Next. I got quite a few requests to do this hood. Nine, eight, gangsta Crips. They hood used to stretch from 98th to Century and from like uh, Broadway to Avalon. But that part is up for debate. But they was clicked up with the 87 and 97 gangsta Crips. And they was known to beef with Rolling Huddins, Block Crips, Rolling 90s, Deverlay Bloods, 94 Foe, and Nine Deuce Hoovers and the 120 Raymond Avenue Cribs. Disclaimer, I would like to really interview somebody from this hood and get some, like some dope information going. So if you know somebody from this hood or if you from this hood, hit me up. 213-436-1296. Next. This is another hood I've been meaning to do. The Compton Avenue Watch Crip. They another reputable hood out here in LA County that people need to put some respect on. They hood started back in the 1970s, so they've been there for a minute. They hood stretched from roughly around 92nd to Century and from Compton Avenue to Graham Avenue. If I remember right, Please excuse me if I get this wrong, but some or most of the members don't push east side or west side or north side or south side. They push dark side. And they clicked up with the 95 Kitchen Crips. I even heard of something like 95.7 or 95 since they got the 97 Street or, you know. I gotta, let, let me get back to you on that. I might do a part two because I got a homie say he got some homies from there might do an interview so let me get back to that but they have a long history of some bitter beef with the hat gay watch cribs they was once allies back in the day but something happened i couldn't tell you what but now they yeah they going at it in a major way or were going at it in a major way but i could only hope that they squashed it man they also beef with east coast grapes bounty hunters swans Circle City Par Rules, uh, Bebop Watch, 135 Par Rules, uh, Westside Par Rules, I see at the Village Bloods, you know, etc. You feel me? And my homie wanted me to do this hood, man, because he, he can't say too much, man, but he had his boss used to live in this hood. And he used to, uh, his boss was from Copton Avenue Crib. And, uh, he used to he used to be the manager of Little Caesars, and uh, he said they used to smoke together. And he was a cool boss. You feel me? he was one of the laid back type bosses, the boss everybody would love to have. You feel me? Let you come late and everything. You feel me? So, shouts out to Compton Avenue. And by the way, they are Watts Crips. You know, despite the name, you know, CC all day, man. But they Watts Crips though. You feel me? But yeah, that's going to conclude today's episode, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm not going to leave you hanging up more. Dope content coming soon. I'm out of here. Wiggins.